Hi everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to what has become a very popular series on my YouTube channel where I take a roundup of what is going on with Portland's condo market in the downtown and we ask the question, what are there for affordable condos under 300,000 in the downtown? I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor with John L. Scott Real Estate, helping home buyers find condos at a good price. And I've got loads of information for you in this video. We're gonna first of all take a roundup of the marketplace and look at some things that I think you're gonna find very useful information if you are searching for a condo right now to get an idea of what is out there, kind of understand the full spectrum of the market and the condos that you're interested in, where do they fit into that spectrum. And then we're gonna take a quick look at three highlights I wanna show you. I picked out three here in the downtown area I think you're gonna like a lot. And then finally, I wanna tell you a little bit about what it means to be a FHA approved condo and which condos in this downtown area are FHA approved because many people tend to buy with FHA loans. And we gotta make sure that the condo building that you're interested in actually is approved. So stay tuned for all of that. Okay, the first thing I want to show you when we're considering all the condos that are under 300,000 in downtown Portland right now, what can we expect for number of bedrooms? So for under 300,000, there were 80 available. Of those 80, 19 of them are studio condos, 57 of them are one bedrooms, and only four of them are two bedrooms. And some of those two bedrooms, they belong in this one specific building that is a co-op. It's a very unique thing, but it means that it is a cash only condo. So they're almost outliers. I throw them away. Vast majority uh, of condos under 300,000 in the downtown are one bedrooms. But here's something I haven't shown you guys before in past videos, like my one back in June. And that is, I wanna show you some ranges attributes about the condos that are under 300,000 in the downtown and so that you can understand the range and where does the condo that you're interested in fit within that range. First of all, size, square feet, total square feet. Here's the range for all that are active on the market right now. Smallest one was teeny tiny at 313 uh, square feet. Definitely, that's one of the studios. And they range all the way up to 885 square feet, which is definitely a really good sized condo. There are uh, two bed, one bath houses over here on East Side Portland that are that size. So that's a good sized condo, especially for under 300,000. And it's a pretty gradual range in there. No. Um, a specific number that dominates that whole range. Days on market, how long have the condos been on market? It's a pretty wide range. And once again, a gradual one, there's ones that have just been put on this week, and there's some that have been sitting around for the better part of a year, you know, at least uh, two thirds of the year. HOA dues, this one is interesting. They can range, and this is definitely one thing that you want to be paying attention to when you're so shopping for a condo are what are the HOA dues. You might have an awesome purchase price. It's under 300000 The property tax might be low, but if your HOA dues are super high every month, that's going to throw your monthly budget out of whack. So you've got to pay attention to that. And of all the, the 80 condos that were on the market under 300000 they ranged from as low as $206 a month up to $753 a month. Now, some of these are kind of outliers. The vast majority of them, you're going to see somewhere between 300 and 550. That's the majority of the range. And then there's some of these extreme lows and extreme highs. And then finally, property taxes. That's another one that is going to affect your monthly uh, payments because you're gonna have to pay those property taxes and they range as well, a really wide range. There's this little handful of condos that have a ridiculously low property taxes and that's the per year amount. HOA dues are per month, but the property taxes are per year. There are some that as low as 332 per year and those ones are in what's known as the uh, Irving Street Tower condos on 21st, uh, Southwest 20 or Northwest 21st and Northwest uh, Irving Street. One particular building has about five condos that are down at that price. And then there are some that are incredibly high at the uh, 5,500. The vast majority of them, you're going to find them somewhere between 3,000 and under 5,000. So that's where the property taxes really fall for a lot of condos in the uh, Portland downtown area that are under 300,000. All right, let's check out my three picks 
in all of the condos downtown that are under 300,000. Um, just as a reminder, the area that I'm defining there for the downtown has the river on the east side, the 405 to the south side, and northwest 23rd Ave to the west side, and there's 80 condos there. And of those, I picked uh, three that I'd like to highlight for you. And just up here in the top right-hand corner, the northeast corner of the downtown, are the McCormick Pier condos. I think they're definitely worth highlighting because it's a 300-unit complex. They're relatively new condos. They're right along the river, and a lot of them have river views. So let's check out the one that I've got here. There it is. And all of this listing information uh, for the three that I'm going to highlight, I'm going to have the links for them in the description of this video, so you can just scroll down and check those out. And all of this listing pages, they are on my website. Just go to alexroyrealty.com and you can see them there. And you can also use that awesome search map I was just showing you. So this one, 910 Northwest NATO Parkway uh, is on for 270,000. I'm gonna give you the main highlights that you wanna know of each condo. Uh, first of all, it's a one bed, one bath, 690 square feet. So that fits right in our average or maybe a little bit over the average uh, in our range of size. It's got a uh, heat pump forced air, which is nice. Not every condo, a lot of the condos have that, but some of them have the electric baseboards. And I'll tell you personally, I prefer the forced air. It also has a uh, central air conditioning, really nice as some of the summers are getting a little bit warmer or the stretches of um, uh, heat in our Portland summers are getting a little bit longer. The property taxes are five, just under 500,000 a year and the HOA is $308 a month, which all very average in our ranges. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a good condo and a good condo complex in that way. And hopefully you're liking the pictures and the view of that condo. Other things that people want to know about these, uh, is storage, deeded parking, and are pets allowed? In the case of this one, it has deeded parking, so you've got a parking space that you own. It does not have a separate storage unit, uh, but they're, they've usually got some pretty good storage inside, and they do allow pets, in this case, one domestic pet. Um, that's something important to be checking on. Don't just assume that every condo complex allows pets. All right, let's go on to the second one. And the second one is an interesting one that I do not often see under 300,000 condos come up in. It is this riverfront uh, one right down by the Hawthorne Bridge and near where um, they, they have all the boats docked and the sailboats docked on the side there. A uh, very nice one. Here we go. 1730 Southwest Harborway, Harborway Unit 302. This one is 297,000. It, uh, like the McCormick Pier one, it's got some good features going on in it. It's uh, forced air, it's got central air conditioning, um, property taxes are just over $4,000 a year, and it's HOA dues a, a little bit above the average, 479 per month. It is one bathroom, one uh, bedroom, one bath, 684 square feet. This one's been sitting on the market 83 days on market. So everything pretty average on this one. It was 308 when it started out. So this uh, owner has done a bit of a price reduction now at uh, 297. And as far as condos go, it's got storage available, which is awesome. It has its own deeded parking space. And you can even see that on the main picture where the drive-in is for that parking uh, in their parking garage. And it allows two pets, 30 pounds each max. All right, so defining that, no large dogs in this complex, but at least it does allow small dogs. And what a beautiful location. And the final one that I've got highlighted here that I want to show you is a much older building. It is up here uh, on the west side, and it is one of these old 1900 uh, buildings, uh, multiplex units. It is on for $299, uh, you know, just under $300,000. It's on, been on the market 76 days, one bedroom, one bath, 785 square feet. This is 2046 Northwest Flanders Street. Um, this one is different than the other ones in that it has the electric baseboard heating. It does not have all that ductwork retrofitted into it, and that's common with these really old buildings. Its property taxes 
just over 4,000. It's HOA dues, 307 per month. So just like the other two I showed you, very, very average in that range. It also started at 315 and has been since reduced to 299 uh, over the 76 days it's been on market. And uh, in the case of this one, it does allow pets. It does have storage, but unlike, unlike the other two, it does not have deeded parking. That's another common um, you know, downside of these older buildings. So the last thing we want to check out and talk about are FHA approved condos. Here's the deal. An FHA uh, con uh, loan is a special type of loan that is backed by the federal government, but they will not allow you to use that type of loan on a condo building that is not FHA approved. So HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development keeps a list of approved condos that have passed all the requirements to be uh, eligible to accept FHA financing. In the downtown, these are the only condo complexes that do allow for it. And I've actually uh, put this list in the description of uh, this video. And so you can see the full list of the condo buildings that are FHA eligible and, uh, and are active and are on the HUD list. So let's count these really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only ten buildings in all of the downtown are FHA approved. And I'll, I've got the whole list in my description of this video. And if you want to confirm whether it's not uh, FHA approved, you can do it the same way that a lender would. You simply go to the HUD website. That's what it's going to look like when you're going to the HUD website. And I'll have this link in the description as well. You can simply type in the condo's name or and have the state. Or you can just uh, search by city and look through the list to see if that condo is FHA approved. And hey. At the very least, all you need to do is just text me, email me, or give me a call and ask, hey, Alex, I'm interested in this condo. Is it FHA elig eligible? Is it approved? Can I use my FHA loan on it? And I can give you a yes or no on that. You can always talk to your favorite lender about that as well. So that's my roundup of what's on the market for uh, condos under 300,000 in downtown Portland. But you don't just have to watch this video. You can check it out on my website. Check out the search functions at alexroyrealty.com or give me a call because I love researching this information for my buyers. Whether you're out of town buyers or in town buyers, I love helping folks get into condos. I'm Alex Roy, trusted realtor in Eastside Portland with John L. Scott Real Estate, working hard for your success.